Hi guys, uh, today I want to start doing a kit series nail design. Um, today I'm going to start with uh, Cookie Monster. For Cookie Monster we're just using this craft uh, acrylic paint. We're going to be creating the Cookie Monster and some cookies. Now the tools I'm using are basically just these brushes, Dotter. This is for my base coat. This is for outlining. This is for the dots. And this is for filling in the Cookie Monster. The brushes you can find at your local craft store. The bigger ones, the other ones are from the Beauty Supply. I've already base coated my nails with white and we'll start our Cookie Monster. Now I'm doing all this upside down so I hope I can get it to look as good as he's supposed to be. As you see I'm just dabbing the blue on As you know, Cookie Monster is furry and we don't want really smooth edges around the corners. Making him a little wider at the jawline. Okay. Now next to me I have a paper towel and a container of water where I'm rinsing my brush every time. You must remember to keep your brushes clean so you could save them, keep using them for a long time. Now I'm going to step over now to the other nail while this one sets up. And we're going to start with our cookies. Now the color I have here is called um, tan and that's what I'm going to be using to create our cookies. Remember the same thing, don't make perfect circles, only because cookies have jaggedy edges. Again, washing the brush. Making sure it's always clean after each use. Now to make sure we don't make a mess, we cap our paint. I, I don't know if I mentioned, but I just use the cap now again we're going to be using chocolate brown to make our chips for our cookies. As you can see I just used the cap. For this one I'm just going to be using the dotter just so I can be a little bit more controlled.
Now I'm cleaning my daughter as well and wiping it. Now I think for a little bit of interest in one of the cookies, I'm going to make it look like Cookie Monster bit out of it. So again, using the caps to hold our paint. I'm going to use the daughter again. And I'm going to come here towards the corner and just white out a bit of the cookie to simulate that he was eating it. Just moving this out a little bit. So that kind of looks like he was eating it. Now we can go. Now I'm going to turn this upside down only because I'm going to write on here. And I need to be right side up. I'm using my black. Let me make sure I cover my white so we don't have any accidents. Now this is my V-Pen from the Beauty Supply. You can find them online or Sally's Beauty Supply. Now we're going to just write the word num num. Sorry, I'm doing this upside down, but I won't be able to see it well if I don't bring it up close to me. To make your, um, your O's, you make half a circle one way and then half a circle the other way. So you get a nice circle. And a little exclamation point. Because we all know how excited Cookie Monster gets when he sees cookies. Okay. Now I think our blue is pretty much set up where we could start creating our cookie monster. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you. <clears throat> I'm going to hold him sideways a little bit just so that I can get my hand in here and work. I'm going to be going back into my white for this one we'll be using just black and white which I have right here so I guess I'll start making his eyes which are going to be
I'm going to create it with the back of my brush. Just dab that into the cap of paint. I'm going to put a dot on the top here. Making it a little bigger than the actual top of the brush. And remember to wipe off your brush. Now I'll go into creating his mouth. I'm going to use black. Now I'm using the chisel side of the brush, which means instead of just using it on the flat like this, I'm going to turn it over so I can start creating the outline of his mouth. Gotta make him really happy here. And I just washed my brush again. Like I said, always making sure it's clean. And I'm going to be making his outline for his eyes. If you wanted to create this without having to outline the eye, you could have just simply came in instead of making a white um, circle for the eyes, you could have made a big black one, let that dry, and then come over it with a white circle or a white dot over the, the black circle, just making it a little bit shorter. So that way it would look like you have outlined it. Now I'm going to come in with my daughter. I'm going to pick up some black. And we're going to give him some goofy looking eyes. One there. And let's see, maybe one up here. Because he's crazy for his cookies and he's all goofy. All right, and there you have it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. As soon as it's completely dry, and I'm going to come and I'm going to clear coat the whole thing and I'll have pictures for you at the end. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and you start getting creative with your uh, kids nail designs. Thank you. If you like this video please subscribe, leave questions and comments and share with your friends.